Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today I'm sharing with you a Master of Kung Fu resin kit bust that I put together for an old friend of mine that I met back in the day on Statue Form when I really first got into the hobby. We've been friends ever since and he was able to pick up this bust all, like back in 2016, it's 2017 now. And it was just kind of something he sent to me and I told him I'll, when I can squeeze it into rotation, I will. So I finally was able to get it done and I put them together. Now, I don't know his name. It was it Shang Tsung or I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I know some of you old school guys probably know what, he, what his real name is and how you pronounce it. I never really read this character. I don't even know who he is, but he sent me the bust. He sent me some pictures and I put it together and painted it for him. So that's pretty much straightforward. Uh, fairly easy bust. Uh, really cool. I don't know... When it was produced, I don't know if it's an old kit or if it's a new kit. Um, I don't really remember seeing it, but like I said, I really uh, don't pay attention to a lot of the old school stuff. But I know a lot of people love the old school stuff. And uh, it was pretty cool to put them together. Just some, uh, you know, an old character. And I got to see some old uh, comic book covers too of it with him. So I decided to do a lot of referencing and just making sure I got all the colors right. But uh, pretty cool. Uh, the way he's broken down is the body is one piece. The hands uh, at the right at the end of the cuffs are separated. This sash is separated. This uh, sash is separated, and the base was separated. Uh, but like I said, very straightforward. The casting was uh, fairly good. Uh, some some few errors here and there, but nothing major. And uh, I mean, straightforward paint up. Um, garage kit uh, flesh tones. Uh, Try to go with more of that Asian look. Tried to follow a lot of the colors from the old comics. You know, some uh, red shirt. Yellow trimming with some orange uh, pearlized hints on those. Uh, at first, I did the cuffs black because I thought they were supposed to be like you know black or something. And then he told me that was the old school way of drawing uh, like metal uh, cuffs. So hey, we had to go back and change that. And uh, but the bust didn't have it. But I guess in the comics he has that you know yin and yang symbol on the back of his shirt. But this bust doesn't have that. But the yin and yang symbol was here. So uh, after some, uh, what he uh, told me he wanted, he's like, can you make it look like marble or granite broken, but add the colors of white and blue to make it look like the symbol. So I was like, yeah, that's not a problem. So it was just a matter of doing like, you know, my basic granite dry brushing and then doing a wash of blue on the inside and a little bit more dry brushing of white on the other part of it to get that yin and yang. And it worked out pretty good. Um, other than that, uh, pretty cool kit. Uh, I know, like I said, if you old school guys know this character, you probably like to see him in a 3D form in a bust. Uh, so like I said, I don't know any more information other than that, that he sent it to me. I don't know when it was produced or anything like that, but worked out pretty good. And the one thing I like about this bust, and, uh, it, it may seem small and like, in, you know, to you guys, and you're like, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but to me, it's kind of like... I'm doing it for somebody and then I'm going to ship it out to them. It makes life a lot easier. Plus, if he ever has to pack it up and move it or sell it, this sash isn't like flowing all over the place where it's going to snap a break. It goes down and it kind of hits the base to a point where it, it's secured. So I like that design and they came up with a really good design like that. And the same thing with the head. Instead of this piece flowing in the air, it flows down around his back. So I put a dab of glue here and a dab of glue there and I connected it. So... That's going to stay on way better than something flowing. Like I said, I know that's not really a big deal to some of you guys, but when you're putting kits together and you got to send them out to people, it makes a world of a difference. Plus, if you're a collector and you know these little fragile things on custom bases, uh, custom busts or statues that, you know, you don't have a box, a professional box from a company that's designed to hold it so it doesn't break, it makes life a lot easier. But... Other than that, he's pretty much secured in. I put a huge rod going through there. So that's secured in there. I put rods going into each uh, arm, wrist, and stuff. So that worked out. And that's it. So there you go. There is the Master of Kung Fu uh, bus put together. Hopefully you guys liked the way it came out. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back with some more videos.